Good morning and welcome to Naturally Kim's Knitting. I'm Kim and I'm your hostess and this podcast is all about oh yarn related things such as knitting and dyeing and spinning. That's something I do need to bring up because I well I'll wait till next week. <laughs> Anyways all of those crafty things which I do here in Lyme outside of Lima, Ohio. I want to welcome everybody today, whether this is your first time coming and visiting with me or whether you're repeat and we are just regular visitors. I want to thank you all for popping in here because I know there's a lot of different knitting podcasts out there and it's very hard to make one that stands out different. But I decided rather than stress myself on being different, I'm just going to be me. Maybe that's different enough. I don't know. So it is a beautiful day. Today is April 26th. Three days and it'll be my hubby's birthday. And we have the short sleeves out. It is wonderful. It is gorgeous. Let me tell you. I'm just so excited. I like warm weather. It makes all my joints behave. <laughs> Anyways, as I was going to say, um, I welcome all you viewers, new or repeat, I love you all. Big hugs. I'm not thinking this is going to be a super long podcast, but I've thought that before, and it was. But we will start. Um, first of all, on my needles, my milkweed is blocked and ready to stitch. So I do not have it in here for you to see because it, because it is finishing its blocking process. So I might have a milkweed sweater to show you next week, depending on my hands behave. <laughs> and it'll match my hair, my purple hair. So anyways, I love my purple hair. It makes me smile. Anyways, I don't have that to show you, but it is a Carol Sunday design. Um, I made mine out of Ella Ray Classic Heathers. And like I said, milkweed is a purchase pattern, um, but it's beautiful. And you could tell the workmanship that went in it. I did not find any errors in it. I just love it. It is a, I'm going to wear that sweater with pride. I love it. Sorry, I'm drinking some ginger turmeric tea. It's supposed to help with um, inflammation. Don't know if it does. But I like to psych myself out about that. Now, I am totally up to date on my annual temperature annual I don't even know how what to call it. annual temperature afghan I'm all up to date I haven't got today's on yet because I or yesterday's on yet because I work work at first thing of the day and I haven't made, made it to knitting yet but it's all caught up to date hip, hip, hooray. I just showed you the wrong end it, I'm showing you the first week this is the current week and let me show you from the beginning. Ouch. Sorry. <laughs> it's going to get more and more difficult as I go along, but you know. Uh, that was made from the 10 stitch, stitch zigzag. Sorry, I have an itch on my wrist. 10 stitch zigzag, which is from Frankie Brown. Um, it's a free pattern on Ravelry. And it's made from Knit Picks Wool of the Andes Sports Yarn. So, if you're interested in trying something like that, it is a good yarn for um, making afghans. However, I like my daughter's afghan better. But that's okay. <laughs> it's good that you like things that you're going to give away. So, anyways, and I got the um, temperatures. I get daily temperatures from Weathergan. So, okay. Um, I might as well show you my daughter since I was saying how much I love it. You work in the ends as you go along, and that's why my ends aren't, except for the first row, I'm going to have to go back in and weave. I'm going to get it to the right place. Okay. So, let's see. One, two, three. Okay, so last week I was probably on these squares. Since then, I've done this. This was the coldest day of the year when she was born. So, 
and I know it's rather dark, I'm sorry, but that's because of the temperature and the yarn that goes with the temperature and sorry, I cannot get the hang of this camera. So hers is not as long as mine, but hers is twice as wide because I'd like to be able to have them cover up in it. And she often has both kitties on her lap when she's, when she's trying to cover up. So that is made from Nitpick Swish DK, which like I said, I, I like mine, but I like hers better. It's so soft. And I, I'm using size 4 needles on her, and it's the memory blanket pattern, which you can also, also find for free on um, Ravelry. I like free patterns. They're fun. <laughs> they don't cost anything. Yay. Now... In addition, I haven't got as much done on anything else as I was hoping. It's just been a really bad week for knitting for me. Um, I think I shared last week how sometimes my neck pain gets so bad it makes my hands shake. I think it's not going to get any better until I have the surgery. But that's, you know, I go see the cardiologist next week on May 3rd. And hopefully he'll say, okay, you can have your surgery. But. My dear friend and I, Janie, Jenny, Linda, and myself, <laughs> we all went to a ladies' tea last week, and it really got me so inspired to get working on my Janie socks. Um, she is so tickled by this. I, I always send her a link to my podcast, and she gets so tickled by it. I don't know that you can see the pattern on it, but what I like is there's intersecting shapes that continually go upwards. And this is my friend Janie is such a positive person and it kind of reflects her relationships in life. She's had, you know, wonderful marriages. She's got a wonderful family and they kind of go out and come back in. And this is also her friends. They come out and they come back in and always, we're working our way up to heaven. So this is my Janie yarn and this is my Janie socks. She was so tickled that I named this pair of socks after her. I said, well, I'm making them for you. I created the yarn. <laughs> I've created the pattern. So, yay. I like my Janie socks. I don't, are they in here? I'm not going to talk a lot about them, but I have gotten past the heel. This is my little, um, it's a self-patterning yarn. And if you've heard me talk about it before, you know how I feel about it. I'm still not a fan of it, but it is a pretty pattern. I wish I would have been in, this, in a store to purchase it, then I wouldn't have picked it up. I'm actually spinning some yarn that feels like this too. But I'm mixing it with some of my wool bothy um, Shetland wool which I love. It's so soft. And I'm hoping by combining the Shetland, which I'm doing in a white, which I'm spinning in a white, with this multicolored pink that's itchy and everything, I'm hoping it'll make a beautiful, beautiful yarn. I hope so. That's what I was thinking about showing you, but I'm going to wait until I actually get it all balled up, and I'll show you next week probably, because I should be balling it up probably later today. Anyways. I love when things pop in my head like that because it's like, yay! Okay, um, now I've got some super secret patterns, which actually I don't have a deadline on now because I've contacted both CC and Paper Daisy One to let them know that um, with my shaking the way it is, I can't guarantee that I'm going to get these done on time. And they are both such sweethearts. Instant forgiveness from both of them, but they both said that if I get them done, just post them post pictures and everything, but I can show you this yarn, which once I get past my um, shakiness, I might be able to re-dye it then. Right now, I can't because I can't shake just the right amount of black in it without my hand going, Derp! which happened, and I ended up with the mistake skein. It's still pretty. It's still very pretty. And since I haven't had any takers on it, I may end up just keeping it myself. 
Um, which reminds me, anybody who is interested in any, in any of my yarns, I'm keeping an updated list in the Ravelry under Naturally Kim's Knitting Podcast Ravelry. And I have an Etsy store, Napier's Knits. You could, if you're interested in something but you don't want to go to Etsy, just PM me through, through Ravelry. We'll figure it out. My skeins are always $20 a skein um, because I figured the easy ones offset the, the difficult ones. And uh, shipping, it depends where you are. If you're in the States, I would say three. If you're outside of the States, I have to figure that out. But uh, anyways, this just reminded me because this is some of my yarn. This is just on a basic merino nylon yarn. And this is going to be for my husband. I wish I could show you the pattern, but I can't. Not yet. Won't be long. And then again, I should have had a chemo cap finished. See, I beat myself up over things. But since I've not had as much knitting time as I want, I haven't been able to get as far on this as I want. Which just breaks my heart. But I did get the band done. And I've actually started the body of it. Boy, that's just not... There. Oops, that reads a little better. better. This is from Tofutsi, which is... Um, it's a yarn from Southwest Trading Company. It actually has chitin in it, which is the exoskeleton of like crabs. And it ha that has an antibacterial um, thing to it. <laughs> Don't you just hate it when you just can't think of the words. I have nothing finished this week. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. I would show you the sweater that I'm test pattern testing, but um, you can't show it without seeing the pattern, no matter if you're showing the front or the back. So this is going to be for my Genevieve. And uh, prob I think they said, I'll have to check the dates. But I'll let you know when it's available because it's a very beautiful pattern. Then I'll show it to you when, when I am, when I'm allowed. I'm sorry, boy. It's not the tea. <laughs> the tea's not making me forgetful. It's just podcasting. I do this every week, don't I? Okay. At this point. Okay, at this point here, I just showed a picture of my friends, Jenny, Janie, Linda, and myself. You'll know me. I have the neck brace and a very stylish blue hat. Um, we went to a women's tea at my friend Janie's house or church. And uh, we had so much fun. We got to taste all kinds of little finger foods and... Um, decorate a table the way that you want to and just I had a blast and it was so much fun being with my friends and they had a good speaker that oh she was a count she's a counselor and through all the things I've had in my life her words just really struck me so anyways that's one of the things that made me so so happy plus spending time with my friends and these are the same friends that Whenever we can get it planned, whether it's a year or two, we are going to go to the UK together. I've got to be doing some research on that so I can make sure to, um, they get their choices of what they want to see. And yet we have to go to, um, Loch Ness because that's where my pet monster lives. <laughs> Anyways, so those are the people that are going to be going on the trip with. And we just have so much fun together. Really, we did. Now, um, so the next thing, books in the mail. I am, I guess you call it an Anglophile. English, well, English, Irish, Scottish, history, the Celts, whatever, all those. And Wales, Welsh history, oh my. It all strikes at my heart. And I think it's because I've been to those places. And so whenever I see a book available, 
like on paperback swap that I might want, I requested. And I got one in the mail called The Winter King, Henry VII and the Dawn of Tudor England. Now, I haven't even started it yet, but I'm going to take my time with it. I am so excited. And one of the things that thrilled me is the author has a PhD in early Tudor history from Cambridge University, and he, he is an editor at a publishing house in London. So I am hoping, with those credentials, that this is going to be an excellent book for me to read. I can't wait. So that's the first thing. That's the first book I got in the mail. Then from Blogging for Books, one of the books I review for, they had this book. Now, when I saw the cover, I mean, you're seeing the cover for really, really small. And I'm thinking, oh, that looks like a lot of tie-dyeing and things like that. But it, I really didn't see anything else last week that, you know, struck me. Not true this week. After I put my review in, my goodness, they had so many things. So I'll be getting one of those next week. But this is Yellow Owl Workshops Make It Yours. Patterns and Inspiration to Stamp, Stencil, and Customize Your Stuff. And let me tell you. I'll just show you a few of the patterns. Because I could spend all day showing you these things. They have dyed washi tape. Yep. Like I said, I forget which way to turn my, to move my papers. Um, <clears throat> Foroshiki wrap project. A plaid tote. I'm just leafing through as fast as I can. Um, team t-shirts and what I love is they give pictures to help with the directions they also tell you um, how long it should take or it took them anyways the difficulty from one to four techniques you learn and then how to remix those techniques and all the materials and the instructions are so super clear I just love this book I'm going to give it to my daughter, though, because she and her daughter do many, many things. And this is garden party cookies. I missed that one the first time I looked at this. I don't know how. And shibori dye with indigo. You don't want to see those, do you? So anyways, it is just filled with things like that. I, If you want to read my book review... Um, it's under, let's see, so this is a book that came in the mail, but I also reviewed it this week. You can look at the book review under what I've been reading, watching, and listening to. Click on the words book review, and that'll take you to my review. If you're interested in the book, click on the book's title. That will take you to a link in Amazon where you can get it, and they have it in Kindle and, you know, paperback. So... I like paperback because, it's, for me, it's handier. I get upset when my Kindle um, fades out when I'm halfway through something. It just irritates me. <laughs> and then, <clears throat> silly nitpicks. I just got an email this morning. <laughs> they have... Oh, I can't remember the name of it. It's a speckled yarn, finger cream wing yarn that's on sale. I got one skein of that. They have a book on sale, but I'm waiting to get that for a while. And then I got a, a dark tonal sock yarn and a white. Because there are these kitty cat socks out there that my granddaughter saw the picture of, and she wants a pair. So I'm thinking I'm going to make her a pair. I might make a pair for her brother. I might make a pair for me, but first I'm going to try one and see what happens. So I'm so tickled by that. So Nitpick's got a listing on things that make me happy because when I'm looking for a certain yarn, I can usually go there and find it. Okay, so the other thing that I've been reading, it's on my Kindle. <laughs> I am such a crazy person. This is called A Fairy's Guide to Disaster. And it's away from Whipplethorn, book one by A.W. Harton, and I love this book. I love it. It's just so cute. I read like a chapter a night, 
And I'm just going to get set to where I left off last night. I read a chapter a night. And I go to sleep with good, good dreams. So, anyways. <laughs> um, I don't have that linked yet. I haven't got a review yet because I'm still reading it. But I will get, I'll probably finish it this week and it'll be up next week for me to talk about. And then you'll hear more about the, fair, the Whipplethorn fairy, fairies. You know what? I hope this has been taping. I don't see numbers anywhere. Oh, there they are. Whew. Had a little freak out moment there. That is, oh, there are two knit alongs going on. Um, one is winding down. You have until, oh, no, it's not. We have a whole other month. <laughs> I kept thinking, are, is anybody else going to be entering th baby things? Well, please do. Uh, um, yeah, I'd like to see a lot of different people put things in there that they have made. Um, it ends May 31st, and the rules for that are underneath my show notes. So just scroll down, you'll find those. And then I've also got an annual temperature craft along going on, which goes through next year, um, January 5th. So um, for the rules for that, to scroll down too. For both those, you do have to be a member of the Naturally Kim's Knitting Podcast Group on Ravelry. Um, if you enter and you're not a member, you sorry, you won't win. But it doesn't take anything to enter. You just click. And uh, I won't pester you, except to say, wow, I love your work, or hugs, or I will not send you spam, don't worry. Um, for both of these, the, the prize is, it depends on how many entries. For every 10 entries, I add a prize. So for 1 through 10, it's a skein of Napier's Knits Yarn. 10 to 20 entries, it will then be, um, I lost my mind. A Ravelry pattern up to 750 and then after that I just have to see oh see I hate doing this but to help pay for prizes and things I have put a, a PayPal button on my blogger um, show notes see I hate asking for things but if any of you would like to donate anything just click on the PayPal button and it will guide you through the process. And uh, I mean, I, I've not brought it up because I hate to ask for things like that. Or it's direct payment. But, you know, it would be helpful. My husband sometimes rolls his eyes when I say, I've got another drawing coming up. Um, just, I do not want anybody to stress themselves or to give when you do not have the money to give. Or if you only kind of like the podcast, don't give. I mean, I only want this for the people who have loved the podcast and would possibly like to see different prizes put in or help pay for postage or whatever. Same thing when you click on the Amazon links in my Amazon or Nitpicks links in my show notes. It'll take you to those spots and um, through using those links, I receive a few pennies. So anyways, I just wanted to put that out there. I, like I said, I mean, I mentioned it again for a long time because I just don't, I don't feel comfortable mentioning about the PayPal. The other two I don't mind because I love nitpicks and uh, I shop Amazon all the time. My whole outfit for the women's tea came from Amazon. <laughs> from the hat to the feet or the shoes, not including my neck brace, but you know. Anyways, well, I will cut this off now. My gabbing takes for, takes forever to get through, but I love you all. I hope you have a wonderful, blessed week. Very few mistakes, or if you do have them, I hope they are easily corrected. I love you. Big hugs. And see you next week. Bye-bye.